this is a big season for Blanca. So in terms of being in, in, in the Litchfield world, I think Blanca is an odd individual, right? I don't think that Blanca enjoys uh, being around people too much. I do think that, that this character keeps surprising us, uh, me included, and uh, the reactions are not always, well, always what you expect. But Blanca is a little bit more, from what we've seen in season two and three, more willing to, to be surrounded by other peers, you know. I think I understand the character better and, and, and what we're trying to portray, which is this type of person who uses that as a defense mechanism, which is understandable, you know, it's, it's, it's tough. Uh, and, and as much as the, the way we portray Litchfield, everybody's in love with the character, it's a tough life, it's a tough world. I connect with the fact that I understand her reactions, but I connect with her in that we have the same temper. I'd probably be temperamental like that. I was fascinated by the um, unexpected, how unexpected it was for me, because I thought, uh, if anything, it would be very crazy, and it wasn't, and I loved that. And that's always what I love about our writers, it's never what you expect. She's very odd, but very wise. Um, I always say that, like, the things she says are very deep. <laughs> Sometimes they're very odd. You know, like her uncle hit an armadillo and they cooked it. And she has this stable relationship. Odd, but stable. We hear, we hear the Diablo name again, that's for sure. Do we see him? We saw him, right? Even if it's bits and pieces, there, that is not... Um, I, I was not, I wasn't surprised about that, it's the elements of Blanca's temperament. Hi, I'm Laura Gomez, I play Blanca Flores. Make sure to watch Orange and New Black.